Hello. I guess I'm starting. My name's Tom Froze. I'm a designer and illustrator. I uh, live and work in Yarrow, BC, about 90 minutes east of here in the beautiful Fraser Valley. I was born in Toronto. I studied at NASCAD University in Halifax. And I started my design career here in Vancouver in 2009. Um, I'm a commercial artist, so this is kind of an old school term that I, th I think is coming into more common use again. And it basically means I'm an artist for a living. So I, I strive to make beautiful work and to get paid for it so I can uh, feed myself and my children. I love my job. I have a, a, a dream job. I, I think I've worked hard for it and I'm, I, I see the rewards. Uh, most of the time and, and I, I'm proud to see my work out and uh, some great publications on, on, sh on retail shelves etc and yeah I'm, I'm super happy and super grateful for for what I do uh, I also hate my job um, I so the reason I, I want to call this confessions is because uh, there's a lot of struggle behind the pretty pictures and uh, I wanted to peel back the veneer of, of a somewhat glamorous uh, profession and and just kind of show you some of the quirkier and real things about it uh, and I like this like I, I, I want your attention I like I like to be up on stage I'm a little bit nervous but uh, you know ultimately I love to show and tell and I think that really drives me uh, in terms of um, it, it, it motivates me to, to get stuff out there and share what I love and what I'm interested in and express that uh, I'm definitely overconfident. You know, sometimes I, I pat myself on the back a little too much and uh, stroke my ego a little too much. Uh, but I think I think it does take a little bit of uh, gumption to uh, pretend I know how to do something. Because by the time I'm done doing something I was previously unqualified for, I can do it. So. Um, I'm also under underconfident. Um, this is a, an image by one of my favorite contemporary illustrators, Ping Zhu, and she just does amazing work. I look at people like her who are who are just in such a great place. They're getting a lot of attention. I can get jealous. I can get uh, competitive. I can start to compare myself to them instead of being grateful, and that can kill the joy of what I do. I'm delusional, so this is a very embarrassing thing that I'm actually really embarrassed. I can't believe I'm admitting this, but um, so I, uh, in September I went to a conference in New York, and uh, a few people there happened to know who I was from the internet, and this did wonders for my ego. So now I, I'll be like around uh, general public, and I'll and I'll like imagine people know who I am. I'm not going to ask for a show of hands who knows who I am, but. Uh, <laughs> true story. Um, I, I work hard to make things look easy. Um, this is a, um, some, some work I did for a restaurant in New York. Uh, they wanted me to do this kind of Saul Steinberg, really quirky, kind of lazy line work, but it took a lot, a lot of work to get there. It takes a lot of work to make things look legitimate and um, also spontaneous. Uh, I think I had a vision for, for a career uh, early on in life. Um, and I was afforded an opportunity in my early 20s to um, get into graphic design. I feel like I've, I've evolved a little since then. Um, some of my past work isn't that great. You can laugh. Um, I, f I filter myself uh, online. You know, my I think we all do this. I mean, it's no secret. But I think professionally, we ha I have to do this. I have to sort of like if something later, I, I feel like I regret posting that, or it doesn't quite reflect my brand or who I am or what I want uh, my cu clients and customers to do. I'll, I'll remove it. Um, Age scares me. I think this is a very youth-driven profession that I'm in, and uh, you know, there's the top 30 under 30, and I'm pushing 36. And uh, I think for me, I just have to remember to just let my work mature with me and not take myself too seriously, and just stay on my feet. Uh, this is a, a table at Old Faithful Shop in Vancouver. Half the stuff is Rifle Paper Company. They're amazing. Uh, half the other stuff is stuff that I've worked on, and I was really proud to have that. And um, I'm not able to really uh, t take a day job, just my, my temperament. And uh, the flip side is that I get to put stuff out there in the world that I want to see. Um, I don't know if you can notice, but that Snow Leopard is missing an ear. And um, th this is in print, and it was recently launched a couple months ago, and it's being sold all over the world, this sticker book for kids about New York. And uh, oops, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so back at that conference, I'm lonely. Uh, back at that conference in New York, um, I go, I do things like that uh, to stay connected. I, I, you know, I heartily accept invitations to speak because it keeps me connected to people. Uh, at this New York conference, I met the guy, uh, uh, the leader of uh, Studio on Fire, uh, or the leader. Well, uh, anyway, he he invited me to work on their 2016 um, calendar, and it was an honor to be listed among the contributors. I'm my own model, so Google Images doesn't always have the the reference images I need. So if you look on my photo booth or my uh, memory card, you'll you'll see a lot of hilarious pictures of me in various poses. Uh, I'm a workaholic. Um, my family misses me, uh, especially months like this where I'm uh, uh, working through the night. I've been up till three probably. Uh, every night last week, this week, and uh, I, I find it actually hard to relax, but uh, you know, laziness isn't not doing anything. Laziness is doing a bunch of the wrong things, and I'm hoping to, to keep that balance of work and life in check. I gush about people that uh, I look up to right now. My big crush is Andy J. Miller. Uh, he's a creative pep talk podcaster, and if any of you are in, interested in a creative life uh, career, etc., uh, check his podcast out. It's on iTunes or at his website, and uh, I, he's my big crush right now. Um, I Google myself, and this is definitely an act of vanity, and, and I know that I'm not the only one who does it, but I have a professional rationale for it, and that's I like to see an, uh, a collection of who I am on the internet that I didn't put together, and uh, just a barometer of how I'm doing out there in a way. Um, this is me a couple nights ago when I finished uh, doing this uh, putting this presentation together. It does not take six minutes to put a six-minute presentation together. Uh, and um, it's been a hard month, but uh, I think it, it's been f a fun six minutes. I cannot honestly say it. Thank you very much.